How does the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine work? This is The Boring Voice. Let's find out. There are two key terms to understanding the new Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. That is spike protein and mRNA. Let's start with the spike protein. This is the CDC illustration of the COVID-19 virus. We've seen this a lot by now. These tangled up red things that stick out of the surface of the Viron are spike proteins. At 20 nanometers, this incredibly small spike of glycoprotein is the method the virus uses to enter a cell. This is so small it takes a scanning electron microscope to see it. And you could just barely see it in this image. This protein binds to the receptors on the surface of a host cell and mediates virus cell fusion, allowing the virus to deposit its RNA genome. This is the main antigen component of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and it is also responsible for inducing the host immune response. I will return to this in a moment. RNA is the second key term to understand. RNA is a nucleic acid that codes for protein synthesis. mRNA is what is responsible for carrying genetic code from the DNA in the nucleus of a cell to the cytoplasm for the creation of proteins and amino acids. With that out of the way, we can look at the vaccine. So how does the mRNA vaccine work? The Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech vaccine are called mRNA vaccines. This is because they use a nucleoside modified messenger RNA, or mod RNA for short. The use of the term mRNA instead of mod RNA is a minor inaccuracy. They use mod RNA as a way of coding a specific protein sequence. In this case, the code to create the SARS-CoV-2 spike glycoprotein, which also causes the immune response. The mod RNA in these two vaccines are contained inside a lipid carrier so it can enter some of the host cells. When the vaccine is given, the mod RNA will enter the cytoplasm of some of the host cells. Once there, the cell will actually make and display on the surface of the cell the same glycoprotein that is on the surface of the virus. The immune system will see the spike protein as a foreign substance and begin an immune response. The immune system will then create an antibody to the spike protein, blocking its ability to perform virus cell fusion in the future. All this is done without exposing the host cells to the virus. Furthermore, once the cell codes and creates the protein, the mod RNA that was initially introduced will be broken down and eventually removed from the cell, as mRNA serves a temporary function. At that point, the vaccine has completed its work and the adaptive immune response will have created antibodies and memory B cells for the spike protein. Oh, and one last piece of information. The Moderna and Pfizer vaccines don't contain a preservative. That's part of the reason they are kept in cold storage. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.